hi welcome to my channel today we have another question here on the board again and we are asked to calculate the unit and the dimension of the constant in the van der Waal equation and in the second question there we are asked to calculate what x y and z uh, using what the dimension so before i will continue i would like you to uh, click on the right button subscribe so that next time if i'm uploading a new video you should be what notified and you can also share this video at the same time okay so let's see how we can solve this very question uh given this is the van der Waal equation p plus a over v square open bracket v minus b close bracket equal to r t this is the equation of the van der Waal. so for us to find the dimension of a the first thing what we need here is what the relationship between p v square and a and it is given by p equal to a over v square this is it now if you have something like this the next thing you make e the subject of the formula a will now be equal to p then v square okay now from there we need to just look for the word the formula of pressure and pressure is equal to what first over area multiply by what the v square okay now force is equal to mass times the acceleration so let us look for the unit of what this pressure okay the unit of force first okay the unit of force is equal to kg meter per second square that is the unit of force while the unit of area a is equal to what meter square okay now dot the unit of volume the unit of volume is meter raised to power three or meter cube but here we are having what square there so you can put the square outside the bracket if you have something like that the next step is a is equal to this is m m from law of indices if you are dividing you should subtract the power so we're going to have k g then m raised to power minus one then s raised to power two dot this dot is multiplication two times what uh, three we're going to have m raised to power six now we have m we have m so when you are multiplying from the law of indices you should what you should add the power so if you add minus one plus six you're going to have five so our a will be equal to what k g and then m raised to power five then s raised to power minus two and this is the word the unit this is the unit of word a now remain the word the dimension if you have the unit to find dimension is very very simple if you have the unit already to find the dimension is very very simple how are we going to get it you should just uh, look at it here in dimension you can say a is equal to kg is from mass and the dimension of what mass is given by capital m the dimension of mass is capital m so we have capital m for what the kg now the next one there is meter the meter there is obtained from what a length or a height or a breadth okay so the dimension of length is capital l so you bring down your capital l but this m is raising to what power five so you bring the power five there then the next one is what second the dimension of what time is t the dimension of time is what t so you bring down your what uh capital t then it's raising to power minus two and this is the dimension of what the constant a and this is the unit of constant a okay now that we have learned how to obtain the dimension and the uh, constant the dimension and the unit of a let us go let us find out the word the dimension and the unit of 
B from the second one. We need the relationship again. We need the relationship. And this one is very simple. The relationship is what? B equal to what? V. Straight. And this is now the equation 2. Okay? So, from here, we can now say that what is the unit of volume? Volume is obtained from length times breadth times what? Height. So, the unit is meter cube. So, the unit, if the unit is meter cube, we can now say that B is equal to what? Meter cube. It means that the unit of what? The constant B is meter cube. And that is all for what? This unit. Then the next thing is what? To look for the dimension. Now the dimension of this B, if the unit is meter cube, then we can say the dimension B is just what? L raised to power 3. Okay? L raised to power 3. Now, in some cases, we do write it like this, uh, m raised to power 0, because this one we're having what? m, m raised to power 0, then l raised to power 3, t raised to power 0. This is still the same thing as this. This is the same thing as this, because, because m raised to power 0 is equal to 1, and t raised to power 0 is still equal to 1. And you're still going to obtain what? Uh, uh, the same thing as l raised to power 3. Okay? Now that we have known the unit and the dimension of the constant in the Van der Waals equation, it's time for us to look at what? The second question where we say we should calculate what? X, Y, and Z. So let's see how we're going to do it. So given P is raising to power X, V is raising to power Y, T is raising to power Z is equal to constant. That is what is given. Then let's say this is equation 1. Then from the boy's law there, P, P is inversely proportional to V. That simply means that P, V is equal to what? Constant. Constant. And we can say this is equation 2. Now, equating Equating what? Equation equating equation one and two. When we equate equation one and equation two, this is what we're going to obtain. We're going to have p raised to the power x, v raised to the power y, t raised to the power z is equal to p uh, v. That is it. But there is a simplest way of what approaching this. Because normally students have to what, go through uh, you, you go through what finding the dimension of radio, finding the dimension of volume, and then you solve it using linear equation or you solve it using simultaneous equation before you arrive at the final answer. But there is a simplest way on how on, on how to what, get this x, y and z in case if you're in the examination hall okay now let's see how we're going to obtain this using the simplest method this side consider the word the the left hand side we have p v and t and the right hand side we have what the p v there is not what uh, t there so you should introduce it we should have p raised to power x v raised to power y t raised to power what z is equal to p v then t raised to power zero as simple as that we introduce this t and we know that any number raised to power zero is equal to what one so let's proceed we now compare comparing what the left hand side with the right hand side so for what for p for x sorry for x we have p raised to power x is equal to p raised to power 1 okay if there is nothing written at the top here then it simply means that p is raising to power 1 so the bands are the same so p will cancel p it simply means that your x is equal to 1 that is for x there now for what for y for y 
we can say that v raised to the power y is equal to v okay and this v is raising to the power one the pairs are same so v will cancel v it means that your y is equal to one the same thing now the third one for what for z for z uh, we can say that uh, uh, t raised to the power z is equal to t raised to the power zero t will cancel t then our z is equal to what uh, zero and this simply means that our z is equal to zero hence we can say hence x is equal to one comma y is equal to what one and z is equal to zero and that is it as simple as that thank you for watching